Hi, I'm Fran. Are you ready to have a great time at the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh? We're looking forward to you visiting. Our unique museum has two separate buildings, the Children's Museum and next door, Museum Lab. This video will give you a general idea of what you will find at the museum. You can find out more about accessibility accommodations as well as exhibits and programs on our website, pittsburghkids.org. Our ground level has the lobby, the art studio, and the big red room cafe. Our lobby is a large room with a pebbly cement floor. To the right of the front of the entrance of the lobby is a large towering bird sculpture built from recycled gas station signs. To the left of the front entrance is our admissions desk where you can pay for admissions, parking, and ask for help with accommodations. To the right of the front entrance beyond the bird sculpture is a rubber mat ramp that leads you to the Big Red Room Cafe a large room with tall ceilings and white globe chandeliers. You can purchase food or eat food from home at the tables here. Also, at the far end of the cafe is an elevator on the left. On the basement level, head straight out the elevator and then turn left. This takes you to our group lunchroom and SLB Radio Productions, which airs an award-winning public radio program and provides youth workshops in audio technology and self-expression. You can also access SLV by stairs or by ramp at the end of the room near the restrooms. To the left of the lobby is a carpeted ramp that takes you to the gift shop on your left. To the right is a long rack for hanging coats and a small room with lockers where you can store your items. Continuing into the room, you'll find the art studio. Dozens of long orange and pink streamers hang down from a domed ceiling in this space. You can create art, experiment with different materials, and have fun in the art studio. Go back to the lobby and turn left up a rubber mat ramp to explore more of the museum's first floor. Pass the entrance to the limb bender on your right and go straight ahead to reach Make Shop. This area has many materials and tools that you can explore and use to make things. A moving dry cleaning rack displays items made here, high up in the air. Out of Make Shop, you turn left up a carpeted ramp and arrive at the limb bender on your right. This is an enclosed space where visitors can climb up to the second floor and back down. For safety, its only entrances and exits are located on this floor. You can also watch others climb here. The end of the carpeted ramp Make a left and use three concrete steps to reach more exhibits, as well as an elevator and stairs to the second and third floors. Or turn right to access a ramp to reach these areas. Continuing down the hall on the first floor, you reach the Kindness Gallery on your left, a high energy space with activities that help us communicate kindness. You also find the Gravity Room, a tilted room you can enter by stairs and exit by a slide. The Gravity Room is not accessible by wheelchair. Across from the Kindness Gallery is a dark area with artwork you can play with. Turn left out of the Kindness Gallery and you'll find restrooms on your left. Further down the hall, on your left is the garage. A room with high domed ceilings where you can explore things that fly, bounce, and roll. 
This room can be high energy and loud. The parachute launching area is accessible by elevator. Just ask a staff member for assistance. A drinking fountain is also located in the garage. At the end of the hall is the changing exhibit space with exhibits that change seasonally. To get to the second floor of the museum, go back down the hall to the elevator or stairs located next to the make shop. You can also take the talking stairs on the other side of the limb bender. Each step plays a voice or a sound you. as you step on it. You can walk on the left side for no sound. I love you. Oh, that's yummy. On the second floor, you'll find the nursery, a space with train tables, light walls, and other activities for our youngest visitors. It can be quieter here than on the other floors. You will also find restrooms and a water fountain on this floor. Water play on the third floor can be reached by the same elevator or stairs. You can play with water, rain, and ice here. The metal floor is graded and can be slippery. We do provide rain gear, but visitors usually get wet in this exhibit. A water fountain and restroom can also be found on this floor. Go back to the first floor lobby to visit our new building, Museum Lab which has exhibits and programs for older children. Just exit the Children's Museum and make left off the ramp. Follow the colorful shapes on the sidewalk to Museum Lab. Buell Community Park is on your right. You can enter Museum Lab by stairs or by a ramp on the right side of the building. From the ground floor, go straight to reach an elevator to the first floor. Make a right out of the elevator and the admissions desk is straight ahead. Museum Lab was built in 1890 and has many of its original features like archways, columns, and tile floors. Show your admission wristband to the front desk and you're on your way. As you leave the lobby, you enter the Grable Gallery, a space with couches and a piano you can play. Look up to see a large artwork that was designed to look like a skylight that was once in this room. To the right, you'll find Studio Lab, a room with big windows where you can create art and experiment with different materials based on an artist or a theme. As you leave Studio Lab and cross over the Grable Gallery, you reach Tech Lab, which has art you can play with and activities like sewing and rug tufting. Outside the tall windows is a large wall painting. You can also see one of our learning labs where we hold workshops and meetings. Continue from here to Make Lab, a space that is similar to Make Shop in the Children's Museum. Make Lab has tools for metalworking, woodworking, and laser cutting. Some projects in this room can require safety goggles and be loud. Turn right out of Make Lab and you reach restrooms and water fountain. Around the corner is the entrance to Gymnasium three-story sculpture made out of rope that you can explore. Gymnasium has uneven surfaces, narrow passages, and spaces that you can only reach by crawling or climbing. You must be a certain height and take your shoes off to enter Gymnasium. The rope may feel hard on your feet. You can sign up for a time ticket at the front desk.
an accessible entrance to gymnasium is available on the ground floor. You can explore this level, rest in hammocks, and look up to see hills and passages above you. Let a staff member know if you would like to use this entrance. On the ground floor of Museum Lab, you will also find a nursing room and restrooms. The second floor of Museum Lab can be reached by the elevator in the Grable Gallery or by stairs behind the front lobby desk. Manchester Academic Charter Middle School is located on this floor. A restroom and water fountain are located at the back of the room. You can reach the third floor of Museum Lab by elevator or stairs. You can look down on the second floor from a long balcony. On your left, through a set of doors, is Assembly Hall, a large room with tall windows where we have special programs and private events. If you need assistance at any time during your visit, our staff will be happy to help you. We hope this video gives you an idea of what to expect when you visit the Children's Museum and Museum Lab. We change some exhibits and activities regularly, so you may find some details are different when you get here. We are looking forward to your visit.